Hello and welcome to our latest listing over here at 76 Fairfield Way. We are over here in Mount Davidson Manor, right at Lakewood, which we're just circling around now, and Fairfield, which we're at well, right now. You'll take a note that it is sunny here, and it is nice, it is warm, and you can hear the Muni down the block. The M car runs here, and here there is a house next to us that's on the market, and we are on the market just a coincidence too. So this is our house, kind of a an ugly duckling right now that is waiting to be turned into a swan, but there is so much potential, and it's at such a great location that it's uh, really cool, and we're happy to show you. I love the neighbor's giant tree here. It frames the neighborhood really well. Uh, like we said, we're right here at Fairfield and Lakewood. Somebody should probably get a different sign. Number 72 was on the, is on the market for about 1.7. And some of the things I want to load, uh, bring to your attention is that we are a completely detached house, like many of the other houses here. We've got a garage here that is right now, it's just a garage and undeveloped, but there is potential to do more. Uh, you have internal access, which is great. You have your parking space here. You've got a pretty substantial foundation there. And from there to there, it's about 21 feet, so your cars should fit. Now this area over here, uh, next door, they've developed, and it's about 12 feet over here. And if you were to come by to here, you've got 12 feet too. So you've got another 140 odd square feet down here for a bedroom. And you have uh, the ability, you know, we already have internal connections here. So it's already been engineered that way. And your ceiling height here is nine feet. So you have a pretty good space down here. Uh, this has been owned by the same family since the 1950s, uh, since Eisenhower was the president. So. Over time, they have maintained it. We've got a relatively new heater, relatively new water heater as well, laundry down here, and they did some plumbing work and sewer work in the past. But as with many houses, this house is one where the family's owned it for such a long time, the mother lived here, the kids lived here, and now it's time for the next chapter. Uh, it is a trustee sale. There is no court confirmation needed at all. It's just a regular old uh, sale. So there's Mr. Raffi, he's waiting for us up top. You'll notice there's a little yellow brick road, a yellow brick stair going up. Uh, we had inspections from Markoff and with arch inspections of David Milney. And there is some, you know, it's a house that needs some work. Circa 1928, we're just under 1,700 square feet and the lot is extra big. First, when you come in, you'll notice you've got this really nice little entryway here. If you look to the right, You've got the big views out. You can see it's just really, really fantastic. Now, according to the sellers, the sun will set in different places over the year. It'll set over here during one part of the year and set over there on the other part of the year. We're looking at SF State down there. You can see the golf course out there. You can see the ocean now from the distance. Um, you're close to 280, which is just actually back around this way. You're about 10 minutes away from BART if you want to walk there. And you're framed in nicely by Ingleside, Ingleside and Merced Heights too. This is great. You have this sort of cold curved ceiling at its tallest is about nine feet. You've got this sort of light motif of the nice curved and gentle sort of arts and crafts slash art deco slash Mediterranean feel. First you'll notice here, we've got a little breakfast nook. Yes, it's very green, very 1960s and 70s. You can find this old light fixture is so out of date, it is now back in style. We've got the wood floors here, parquet and whatnot. I imagine you'll probably want to replace it. In the kitchen, well, it's been relatively updated. It was relative, probably updated sometimes in the 70s and 80s. U-shaped design, nice little, uh, this little sink, and a little, you know, your triangle here, it's nice. Over here, you've got this kind of half bath here, and then we'll go out in a second. But it's something that you can totally expand a little bit into. And you have a formal dining room. You can see that light, the nice doors and light motif that you can see a lot in the neighborhood. Again, you've got that nice view towards the west. Unobstructed, it can't really be obstructed because look, people are going down the hill. And over here, you'll see toward the backyard. Um, <clears throat> the depth between here and over to there, it's about 35 feet or so. Uh, let's go upstairs first, then we'll go out downstairs uh, outside a second. Up here, guys, got a nice tall ceiling. And right now it's configured as two bedrooms and one bath, two oversized rooms and one bath. Uh, here's the bathroom here. 
And here is what would call be classified as the master. Again, they would use like that way. And you've got this over here, the yard, and then you've got this closet. If you take a look out in the yard, you'll see it's also terraced too, up there, down here, and down here. So I think you have a lot of ability to, you know, do what you want. You could have you know, a bocce cord or water feature or something uh, fun. You notice the house is stair stepped on the way out. Uh, the sellers did redo the roof just last year. Uh, there was a little bit of water damage and leakage, but you know, they fixed it since. But again, you know, there's a lot you can do over here. You've got the same thing, beautiful views to the south and to the west. Ceiling heights here, then you've got this nice depth as well. Ceiling heights in this room are eight, well, let's see, let me look at that again. Eight foot five, and the depth between here and there is 21, almost 22 square feet. Could definitely do in the room here, or even split this room back up here as well. So let's go back down the stairs. Matthew is waiting for us. Let's take a look out back real quick. I mean, you can expand oh, Hi, how are you guys? Hi. Just did a quick video for everyone. So like we said, you can probably just open this all the way up here and go back there and you can go out to the yard, which is pretty substantial. To have a yard that's that big and it's terraced, gives you options. And you can see it's just great. Anyway, if you want to learn more, go to 76-fairfield.com. I'm Kevin Ho, of course, and uh, with my partner, Jonathan McCary, we are at Vanguard Properties, and we're delighted that you could join us today. See you soon, and thanks for watching.